Do you want to replace Zekrom in your party? Yes, we do. We want to be able to counteract in with the, our own legendary beast. I see. It is said that power was lent to the hero who pursued ideals. Zekrom has recognized your power and chosen to walk with you then. Now, your Pokemon are wounded. Winning against such an opponent would be meaningless. I have seen the future. I will win. In. Team Plasma's king has captured the legendary beast. And so have we. We are going to counteract him with our own legendary beast. Team Plasma's end starts off with Shirim level 52, Terracosta level 50, Archeops level 50, Kling Clang level 50, Vanilliax in level 50, and Zoroark at level 50. Let's use Dragon Breath on him. you shut your mouth in. Anyways, um, one thing you guys need to realize, I am not doing very good as I should be doing. I just now realized something it took me freaking forever. Well, then again, I am recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning. I record that at 3 o'clock in the morning, and yeah, I didn't re I didn't know that he knew Hyper Beam right off the bat, so he took out Zachram, unfortunately. <sighs> One thing you do need to realize is Zachrom's Cross Thunder, since Rashiram is faster and it's going to always open up with uh, Cross Flame, you need to use Cross Thunder because it'll double the damage. But in the end, Zachrom did do a lot of major amount of damage to Rashiram, but we were able to finish it off. We need to stop in at all costs. His truth is clouded. We need to stop him by showing him our ideals that Pokemon and people can coexist with each other. They need to coexist with each other in order to survive. It's not the time a long time ago when Unova was created where Pokemon and people were separated. Times have changed over the years, and people and Pokemon learned to coexist and depend on each other. We need to show it in that people need Pokemon as much as Pokemon need people. We can't live without each other. It's like yin and yang. You can't live without one without the other. Truth always has ideals, and ideals always have truth. Even though they're opposite spectrum, they still need it to survive. And that's what we need to show yin. We can't allow him to, to go on with his clouded truth. Alright, go Reggie. We need to stop in at all costs, otherwise people and Pokemon are going to be separated, and we can't have that. Use Blizzard. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, gosh, gosh. A, a crit. That's... That, okay, seriously? That's just my luck right there. Reggie's supposed to have good special defense, but it gets a crit anyways. Okay, let's, let's just burn this ice cream cone! We need to stop in. At all cost. We need to show him the error of his ways. Maybe we can convince him that he's wrong. That his ideal, that his truth that he's trying to seek is not one that needs to be done. It's not an ideal world for everybody. Okay, come on, Sean, we can do this. Use Archeops. Use Ice Beam to get quad damage here. Oh, Stone Edge. Gosh darn it! No! No! Gosh darn it. Alright. Buffet by Hell. Alright, let's switch over to Tron. I'm not doing so well. I'm already down three Pokemon. Let's use Surf. Acrobatics. Oh god. Oh god. Does it have an item on? Oh no, I guess it doesn't. Ow. That hurt. Tron was able to survive this. 
take... Well, it didn't take it out one hit. Ow. Okay, I need to heal Tron real quick. He's Hyper Potion on you! So you can take out Archeops without any problem. Archeops is gonna use Acrobatics. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that didn't do as much damage. I guess it's only... I guess Acrobatics' effect only works one time. If you use it multiple times, it won't work. Okay, now let's use Surf. Archeops is defeated. Good. And Tron's level 49. I know in the last episode I said that Tron... It already said that Tron was level 49, but like I said, a different save state, so... Uh, this is where I decided, I was like, eh, should I go with Echo Voice? And then I realized, oh, Echo Voice isn't... Eh, I don't know. I shouldn't really use it. Okay, it's gonna use Kling Clang. I know who we're gonna use. Kling Clang is the evolved form of Clang. And the final evolutionary form of Clink. And... I, you know, I've never really seen anybody use Clink Clang. I've never honestly really seen it. This is the only time I've actually really seen anybody use Clink Clang, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should try it out myself sometime. Thunderbolt. Okay, come on. Come on, D-Lady, you can hold this up. Use Purgatory. Burn that gear to... Rust. I guess, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> And we defeated Kling Clang with one hit. D-Lady, you are freaking awesome. I'm going to use Sora Arc. Uh, we have Tron, he has Drain Punch. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, sending out Zora Arc, his last Pokemon. My final friend, lend me your courage. Zora Arc is a dark type, but he's got really bad weak he's got really bad defenses. Let's see if we can drain punch him. Into submission. Use vengeance. Oh god, oh god, vengeance, vengeance. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Whew. I'm gonna have to heal again. Gosh. Vengeance, like I play said through the entire playthrough, vengeance is, um, doubles its strength if the Pokemon's been KO'd before him. And it has, so let's use Drain Punch, okay? Nice slash. Uh, not doing that much damage, let's just see. Okay, Drain Punch will regain some of its HP back. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. And Poison Hand activates! Nice! Do you mean the world has chosen not me, but you? It seems that way, Ed. Our ideals are coming through to you, finally. The world has chosen that Pokemon and people need to coexist with each other. My ideal is right, your truth is wrong. And this is the part, I, I, I made a stupid mistake here. I thought, there's something else coming up. And I thought that, well, I couldn't get healed, but apparently I was wrong. You'll know what I mean when we get to that point. Okay. Poison takes it out. Poison Hand is whenever uh, Seismic Toad makes a contact with a opponent, it poisons it. Has, has a chance of poisoning. With this, my true Pokemon dreams, they have crumbled. Wishiram and I have been beaten. Your thoughts, your ideals, is that what has bested me? Zakram Wishiram. Those two chosen heroes upon varying qualities. Is that the case? Two heroes in the same era. One seeking the ideal, one seeking the truth. Coexisting. Is that correct? I don't understand. I would not deny differing ideas. In fact, in accepting differing ideas, the world will experience a chemical reaction. This is the formula that can change the world. Even still, are you not of a Harmonia name? The same as I? What a worthless son. From the very beginning, ends revival of the legendary truth-seeking Pokemon in our time. It was all for the glory of my Team Plasma to manipulate the fearful populace.
You did well to come that far. But you wanted to fight a fellow belief-driven trainer who could also subdue a legendary Pokemon to see if you were a true hero. And in the end, you were beaten by Petty Commoner for it. You utter fool! This seems being raised with Pokemon only made you a wretched and imperfect human in the end. Matt, I had not the slightest conception of the legendary Pokemon choosing a trainer like you. Yet nothing will impede me toward my goal. I will not falter, so that I shall rule the world with an iron fist, so that I can manipulate the hearts of those humans who know but nothing and has served as the king of Team Plasma. But you know the truth of why that is. And for getting in my way, I will have to eliminate you. Rule the world? Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate Pokémon? That was but a lie told to help in the construction of Team Plasma. What good would come of letting useful things like Pokemon free? But by manipulating Pokemon, the potential of humans grows tremendously. You must acknowledge that. And so, it would be most pleasing for I to be the only one using Pokemon. You dirty, deceiving! Regardless. Now then, that which is called a god, but is ultimately only a Pokemon, and Matt, the one it has recognized. You have much to fear. Now, have at you! I wish to see that glorious flash of despair upon your face. Matt! Try what you may, I shall not be stopped. You... You conniving little bastard! Getsis. The true evil of Team Plasma. Getsis starts off with a level 52 Confagrams, level 52 Buffalant, level 52 Seismitoad, level 52 Bisharp, level 52 Electros, and a level 54 Hydrogen. Getsis is the true pinnacle of evil next to Cyrus from last generation. He wants to control the world with an iron fist. Ha! I've made ample preparation for that. Getsis wants to control Pokemon using the legendary beast and separating Pokemon and people so that he have all the Pokemon to himself and rule the world with an iron fist. We can't allow him to do that. He thinks he's gonna get away with it, but he forgets. He forgets that we have the legendary beast Zekrom on our side. And, well, Zekrom's not taking a... <laughs> of course I say that, and Zekrom's taking a beating right now. <laughs> um... Gets... Okay, the name Harmonia, if you guys couldn't realize. N is Getsus' son. And, oh my gosh, it seems like... I wouldn't want Getsus as my fatherly figure because, well, pretty much just, like, disowned N and just made him, like, you know, just be with Pokemon and he didn't really raise him at all. Like, but whenever he came up with this ideal to, idea to control the world, he just decided, oh, I'm gonna use N to become the leader, the king of Team Plasma and lead us to my conqueror of the world. Guess this needs to be stopped. And this Cafagras is pissing me off. Seriously? Ugh. Like, see what I mean? Cafagras can be really, really, like, annoying. It's one of those annoying Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know if I. Hmm. I wonder something. I wonder if I train. Oh, mummy. Gosh darn it. If, um. If a Pokemon has, makes any contact with Cafagras, he has a chance of getting. Ooh, 1 HP, holy cow. Okay, we need to heal Zekrom. Anywho, Cofagras 
it, whenever a Pokemon hits it, its, active, its ability Mummy activates, which makes it so that that Pokemon that attacked him, his ability is now Mummy. So it pretty much just cancels out of ability. Like if a Pokemon had Levitate and he attacked Cavagras, his ability becomes Mummy. Therefore, he's susceptible to ground attacks. That's actually a pretty good. Eh, it's decent ability. I like it a little bit. Anyways, he's going to bring out Buffalant. Let's see if Reggie can do stuff more than what he could do in the last fight, because it didn't really have from brain. Oh, he survived. Okay, good. Whew. I jump kick right to the face. And Buffalon barely survives. Okay, this isn't good. Let's heal Reggie. Freaking conniving jerk gets us and his Pokemon. Earthquake! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, okay, that didn't do that much. Let's just use Brick Break. Yeah, for Break! Uh, I should have saw that coming. Bye bye, Reggie. But in the same sense, Buffalon fainted too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna bring out Zachrom again. No, nope, Seismitone, I should have guessed he was gonna use that. Well, that was pretty poorly a choice on my end. Zachrom can't really do anything to Seismitone. Eh, we're just gonna revive Reggie, because I need him. I need Reggie. Rain Dance. I mean, you know, that Seismitone must have Swift Swim. I can't remember. Like, I, I know the, the Pokemon, the. Guess this has, but I don't remember what its move sets are. Earthquake! Oh shoot! Ow! Ow! Um. Okay, Z Zachrom, you're going to be a scapegoat, buddy. I'm sorry. Ah! Fino shock! Dang it! But by Zachrom, I'm sorry, buddy. This fight is tough. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This fight is just. Ugh. They made, they did a good job at the final fight in this game. And honestly, he gets us is not playing around. I'm not lying. He's just he's really tough. And we took out Seismic Toad in one hit. Wade, you are awesome. You grew to level 52. Yay, yay sauce. Okay, um, he's gonna. Oh god. Hydration. Okay, we need to switch over to Vanillix. My secret, my secret weapon against him. Hydrogen, my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemon of this generation. Actually, let me just re- yeah. Oh god, never mind, never mind, Sean's down for the count, I just know it. Oh god. Hydrogen's my favorite Pokemon of this generation, and that's why. Special attack is through the freaking roof. Um, Hydrogen is the final evolutionary form of Dino. Now, oh, okay, he knows Focus Blast, let's see his fo oh god. Oh, it avoided- are you freaking kidding me? I had ample opportunity there. God dang it. You know, that's... Ugh. I had ample opportunity to take out Hydreigen in one hit. But no, High Gym Kick had to miss, and then I got backfired because of it. Gosh darn it. Focus Blast isn't that, like, accurately... Dragon Pulse. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Dragon Pulse is gonna do a lot of damage. Damn it, 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 damn it. Okay. Okay, good. Train punch. <sighs> Didn't do that much. Okay, Seismic Toad, just keep doing that. Poison Hand. Oh, nice! Two times in a row. Two times in a freaking row. Poison Hands helped. Oh, I love you, Seismic Toad. Okay, Dragon Pulse again. Let's see if you can survive. Okay, good. Drain Punch. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to heal you. I'm gonna have to heal you. Poison's taking its effect. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Heals. Heals, Seismitoad. Heal. We need you, buddy. He's Dragon Pulse. I'm surprised. Wait. Gets this. You didn't heal Hydrogen? You didn't heal Hydrogen. What the? That's weird. I'm surprised. I you know, I would thought that the. Gets us would have used a uh, hyper potion on its high, highest level Pokemon. Well, anyways, we defeated Hydreigen. Okay, good. Whew. That's one fight I don't have to worry about. And Gron Tron, yeah, Tron grew to level 50. Yay! Okay, B sharp. Now let's use D Lady. D Lady's gonna help. 
D lady always comes through. She's gonna use a. Her fire attacks are always awesome. B sharp. Okay. Purgatory! Didn't even get a chance to attack. <laughs> I bet you I'm gonna take you down one hit, aren't I? Yep. B sharp's down for the count. And now D lady is level 51. Yay! Team Plasma's gonna use Electros. His last Pokemon. Electros. We're just gonna keep him right now. Okay. Um. Let's heal Tron because I might need him. Acrobat. How does. How does he know acrobatics? That's weird. That's kind of really weird. I wouldn't have taught an Electros that, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna use Shadow Ball. Yay! Special defense is down. Electros use Crunch. Ow! Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, ooh. G, G Lady. What could this mean? It means I'm going to win this fight, you dirty, conniving jerk. Bye bye, Electros. And bye bye, Getsis. You are finished. Give it up. Team Plasma is ruined. My scheme, my perfect scheme to dominate the world. What is this? I'm the creator of Team Plasma, the pinnacle of mankind. Should the world not change to place me in total control? So, N. What do you think about separating Pokemon and humans now? <laughs> I obtained the legendary Pokemon without even having to be at the hero. That's all I ever needed you for, N. Look at yourself. You're a heartless, inhuman monster. Is it even worth talking to such an aberration as you? Alder. Listening to this guy's starting to just get annoying. We all know he's the heartless one here. You said it, kiddo. He's just plain hopeless. N, you must be thinking many things, but you were never really controlled by Gidus. You weren't pursuing the truth, just acting accordingly to your own thoughts. Isn't that why you were able to meet the legendary Pokemon? But me? A hero? I meet no such qualifications. Is that so? Well, now that you're with the legendary Pokemon, what will you do? That's what's important. Try to understand. We've been arguing over our own beliefs until now. And yet, why? N. Even if we can't understand each other, there's no reason to reject other ideas. Humans don't quarrel for the sole purpose of determining who is right. Please, think about that. There's something I want to talk to you about. Man. I think you've finally seen the truth of your truth. When I first met you back in Karakusa Town, I heard the voices of your Pokemon. And they shocked me. Why do these Pokemon, why do they claim to be fond of you? They said they wanted to be with you. I couldn't comprehend that there were Pokemon in this world who liked people. I have no knowledge of such Pokemon until that moment. And from then on, as my journey continued, my feelings swayed. Pokemon and people were all selflessly joining their hearts to help each other. So I wanted to fight you 
to ascertain my belief. I wanted to face you as a fellow hero. That I desired. I considered only Pokemon. No, only these Pokemon. I had known. Even... I should not have opposed you. Surrounded by all of those Pokemon you have met. Well, the champion has forgiven me. But... What I do now will be up to me to decide. Matt. You must have dreams. Believe in them and walk whatever path to fulfill them. And someday, surely your dreams shall be realized. Well then. Farewell. And that, my friends, is Pokemon White version. I can't believe we've already at this point. I started this Let's Play back in July, and it's been a long road. And honestly, I've learned a lot of things through this Let's Play. Most of this, most of them is just like types of uh, people I met online in the Pokemon community. I want to give a big shout out to the community I'm part of, Snowpoint Temple, for teaching me like the ways of competitive play in this generation and learning to appreciate Pokemon more than I have in the past. And it's a, uh, it's I wanted to thank certain members like uh, Elena, a Angel of the Night 91 for co-commentating me on a couple episodes and this finale here and well for her showing me this community I, I'm really really glad I'm, I met her she's really awesome you should check out her channel I'm putting the channel um, channel link in the description here and also I wanted to thank my friend Zavi Cannibal he was the voice of Sharon during the cutscenes there he also helped me um, learn the ways of competitive play and whatnot, and he's been a really kind-hearted person to me, and I wanted to thank him too. He's part of the Snowpoint Temple community also. I also had a couple of um, people that I wanted to thank too, like all the people who, who uh, voice acted for me, uh, Legendary Plumber uh, for voicing Alder, my friend Fender's Dark Seal for voicing Getsis, and my best friend uh, Sonic Go 64 for voicing N for me. And I've learned something over this Let's Play. This game here, Pokemon White, Black and White, I am now considering now my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I know a long time I said that, um, well, I said that Pokemon Crystal was always my favorite. This game here is taking this, that, that crown already because of how many times I've played through this game already. And, oh, the credits are done. Hold on, I'll get back into that tangent here in a second. Our Sherem's flying off into the distance. And riding. Anyways, this game, I've learned that I really, really, really enjoy this game so many times. It's got that same feeling I had when I was a child. And that's Finn in Japanese, by the way. <laughs> Jack curse you, Japanese ROM! Anyways, um, this game has taken that place of Crystal version because it had that same effect on me that Crystal did all those years ago. I love playing this game over and over and over again, just for the sake of playing it over and over again. I really really love this game so much and I'm glad you guys were here to enjoy that and I'm glad I got to show it off too like I said I want to thank everybody who's helped me through this project my friend Sonico64 for making the borderlines here uh, my friend Dynamic Victini for making those um, overhead what is it Playlist navigators, yeah, playlist navigators I've had on a couple episodes. I just got really lazy towards the end. I just, like, I, I forgot to put those on. 
Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody who, who's watched this playthrough. This has been a really good, I think, really good first Pokemon Let's Play I've done. And as for, as for the post story, I will get on to the post story soon. For right now, though, I'm going to take a break from Pokemon and get back to playing Golden Sun, my favorite game. Because I know everybody's been wait waiting and asked me, when are you ever going to get back to playing Golden Sun? Well, I just wanted to finish up the story, so I can go and focus mostly on Golden Sun. So I will go ahead and do that. But I will return to this play Let's Play and finish the post story. Because they're not... Just because we beat the main story doesn't mean that the adventure's over. Oh no. We have a whole bunch of stuff we need to do in the post story. Like catching certain legendary Pokemon, challenging the Elite Four, and challenging a certain trainer that everybody knows from the Pokemon series. We have a lot of things to do. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play I do. Goodbye, everyone.